The Islanders took advantage of having home field against Ukudu winning this year's ESA Boys title 6-0 over the Bulldogs. Taylor Bonner started the scoring in the 21st minute off an assist from Noah Mueller. Noah Mueller with the perfect pass, making sure he wasn't offsides, checking the ref as he made his way towards the goal. Nice little tap in by Mueller for the 2-0 lead. Shout out to the homies for supporting. Corner kick, Bonner fighting for position, gets in and seals the deal with the header. Taylor helping himself to the ball. Don't mind if I do. Bonner resets the ball at midfield after the celebration. Emilio Babauta takes the penalty kick. Initial shot was blocked, but Babauta, with the heads up play, follows up and hits the shot on the second attempt. Caden Rivera with the beautiful feed to Christian Quito, who takes this shot after the ball bounced off an Ukudu defender. Quito answers a few minutes later with his second goal of the match. I have to show the play from beginning to end. Quito like Debo out there, flying by defenders on his way to the Bulldog side of the field. He shows his accuracy and ball control scoring the last point of the match in the 79th minute. All the hard work that we had to put into practice, into training, put it into the games. We train how we play and we play hard. And that's how we always win our games. This trophy, it's my baby. It feels wonderful to walk away my last year of high school with the championship. Uh, all of our boys wanted this year. Despite the numbers that came out this year, all of us worked really hard and uh, we just took the chat. When I first started playing soccer and football in general, I always taught it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So once I missed it, I kept my head up and went for the second. Second effort counts, third effort counts always. In the beginning of the game, we were playing to their pace and playing very slow and sloppy. Like I said, towards the end, we started to pick it up and play our way and we finished off with a win. Aliada was selected as one of the team captains for Dartmouth women's rugby team for the 2021-2022 season. Ali plays scrum half and will be entering her senior year in the fall. She is majoring in anthropology and minoring in global health. When I first got the word that I was even nominated to be team captain, um, I was shocked. I was surprised because if you had told me freshman year that I was going to be the captain of the team my senior year, I wouldn't have believed you. I was shy. I was, I was just, I was a very quiet person, but I think in the last year I stepped up and I um, started to be more vocal and lead more. So I was shocked, but I was happy and humbled that I would receive the nomination and then later the vote to become the team captain. Training for the preseason starts August 20th. The team is looking at about 40 girls on the roster. That includes a strong senior lineup and underclassmen, along with a handful of walk-ons. Ali is fourth on the team in tries, scoring 30 points. She also, she also, she also walk on. I set the goal to win the national championship again, take it back from Harvard. You know, we lost the chance to do that last year. So that is one of my primary goals this year. Uh, we're having strong leaders on the team. We have national players. We have U20s players and just people from all over the world. And I think we're really capable of getting this national championship back. 